like there that. You go. Yes. All right. Okay. It is uh, 7 p.m. on August 9, uh, 2022, and uh, the regularly scheduled meeting of the Washburn Planning Commission is now in session. Uh, welcome, everybody, and thank you for being here. Um, can we have the roll call, please? Uh, Vice Chair Chalmers. Present. Uh, Commissioner Swisher. Present. Commissioner Tauber. Present. Commissioner or Chair Dan Kunstler. Here. And for the record, Brock Wagstaff is absent. Okay, thank you very much. Um, as, um, as we always do, we would invite the public to comment on matters that are specifically not on the agenda uh, at the beginning of each meeting, and that would be now. So if there is uh, anyone who uh, in, the, in the public who wishes to address the commission, uh, if you could please uh, raise your virtual hand and be recognized. So I do see that there are five attendees. Right, I was expecting Sherry Weller, but I do not see her in attendance. Um, okay, if for some reason she does uh, join the meeting a little bit later, perhaps we can uh, we can fit her in then. Okay. Um, so with that uh, with that in mind, if we could now move on to the planning director's report. Uh, the planning director is absent tonight. She has an 18 year old son celebrating his birthday. Okay, well. Mar so she didn't give me any direction to report on something for her. Okay, so muzzles off to her, and we can then move on to the uh, consent calendar. Since we do have some attendees uh, in the audience, I just want to remind them what the nature of the consent calendar is, uh, and that is uh, that the staff is uh, uh, the staff has concluded that the item on the um, on the consent calendar or items on the consent calendar will be so uh, controversial as to uh, attract approval of the findings by the by the commission without uh, a public deliberation or uh, or discussion and based on the written reports that has been submitted to uh, to myself and to my fellow commissioners um with uh, uh with that in mind uh, a a commissioner or a member of the public can ask for a motion to remove an item from the consent calendar uh if they do wish for a complete hearing to take place so if anybody uh, wishes to have the um, uh, an item removed from the consent calendar, now would be the time to speak up. Um, so I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing any hands raised. There is currently one item on the consent calendar. Uh, uh, I would like a, uh, a quick motion to include continuance of 24 Laurel uh, onto the consent calendar and then we can vote on the calendar it which would cover then both items so if we have a motion to include a continuance for the uh what was we expected to be a business item uh, i'm sorry a, a hearing item tonight uh which is design review floor air ratio exception uh slope use permit variance uh and heritage tree removal for 20 uh, 2150 for 24 laurel so if we have a motion to add that to consent calendar I would move. Oops. Go ahead, Laura. I'll just second. I would move to uh, include twenty the design review four year ratio um, SUP VHT twenty one dash fifty for twenty four Laurel Avenue, and move it to the the con, uh, as a continuance on the consent calendar as requested by the applicants. Okay, great. So, do we have a second? I can second. Uh, thank you very much. Um, can um, we get all, all in favor, please? Aye. Uh, Aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed? There are none, so that will now be included on consent calendar. So now may I get a motion to approve the consent calendar? But I want to make this clear that you're not approving the project, though you're approving a continuance only yes. under consent. Yes, that was the motion to that was included. So by Approving the consent calendar, we are approving the um, 501 Sir Francis Drake Boulevard and the continuance. That's right. right. Yeah. So, can we get a motion? I will so move. And I can second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? 
there are none opposed, so the consent calendar is now uh, is now approved. Um, um, the, Chair uh, Kunstler, I would just like to note that Sherry Weller, who had indicated she wanted to make a presentation during the public comment on matters not on the agenda, is available and has her hand up. Okay, so since we're uh, on the you know cusp of moving from the consent calendar to our business items, I think that would be a good time to recognize Ms. Weller. Okay. So, uh, so Ms. Weller, please, uh, you, you've got the floor. You just need to unmute yourself. There we go. Thank you. I'm sorry I had a little Zoom issues. Um, uh, thank you for uh, carrying me tonight. My name, as we know, is Sherry Weller, and I reside at 80 Ardmore Road. I know that, or I understand that I have limited time, so I'm going to be brief and get to the point of my call. I'm requesting that hopefully either the next meeting agenda or a, an agenda coming up soon can include a, a review and an update of appropriate consideration and mitigation requirements for large residential projects within our small community. Um, the, the, the impetus for my request concerns the approximately one plus acre parcel, 18 to 24 month residential project being constructed immediately across the narrow street, actually 16 foot wide street from my home where I've lived for the last 28 years. Um, the site work along with the construction of a 5,500 square foot building is similar to a commercial project However, it's being built on a 16 foot wide street in a very small community. Um, the project has disrupted my ability to work at home, my health, my right to enjoyment of my home and likely will continue to do so for the next year. Um, I believe that the, our jurisdiction of which you are the commissioners um, you've that you have permitted a large project in a quasi rural area without very careful consideration of the impact on the surrounding neighbors. Um, and therefore, I respect respectfully request that the city review and update its planning and design review process to include mitigation measures for residents adjacent to large residential projects. Um, when, and I hope this does become an agenda item, I will be happy to share particular images, supporting material, and go on from there. I just think that um, there's a, a video that actually, I'm not sure Kristen, I don't know if Kristen could show it, could, oh, there's the video. Yeah, so the video portrays what was happening for maybe three or four uh, actually, I'm probably wrong here, a couple months of excavation from the site. Um, if you can follow the video, basically the dirt and dust wasn't being dampened. Um, so I was getting for quite a while while the site excavation was going on, all that dirt that you see um, was basically coming over to my house, sitting on my car, sitting on the windows, and then I couldn't open my windows and I have I do have asthma which is driven by dirt and dust so it's I have I still have a cough but the, the fact there's several factors that I really feel probably could have been um, and yes my tree was um, the, the, the size that actually was I think this morning this red truck or yesterday morning but the the size of the trucks for the street even though um, they, they, they may be trying to, you know, get into the driveway um, as much as possible. It's extraordinarily disruptive. And it, I, I don't know the particulars of how much more disruption will be on because I have not been given the courtesy of a schedule. So I actually don't know what is going to be um, going on. So I don't want to go ramble on, but I really do believe that um, the impact has really been extraordinary on me. I am the one property facing 
this uh, 16 feet away from my house. And it is akin to a commercial size project on an extraordinarily small street. Um, so I really do hope that, um, so that nobody ever has to go through what I'm going through again. Um, I really do hope that we can discuss more robust mitigation measures and actually look at the real impact on the neighbor directly across from such a large project with so much site work and dust and dirt. Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say for now. I just really would like to request that this becomes uh, an agenda item. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for coming forward. Um, so as uh, as you all know, we cannot we cannot you know comment or uh, you know, deliberate on the um, substance of the issues that you have raised. What we can do, uh, since it's not currently on the agenda, uh, what we can do is you know, entertain a motion to uh, to place uh, this issue um, on a future agenda. Um, if the uh, if the commission you know believes that that would be uh, that would be appropriate, uh, so listening to Miss Weller, um, you know, for once I'm not going to try to palm this off on somebody else uh, for a motion. Um, is uh, I would move to uh, agendize a discussion of possible mitigation measures for uh, large projects uh, in areas of the city. Uh, where the roadways are particularly tight, uh, so that would be my my motion, just to agendize, um, to agendize this uh, this kind of a discussion, uh, and then what would happen is that the staff would uh, would come up with uh, recommendations as to uh, what actions this commission might take, be a be it a recommendation to move this the issue up to the you know to the city council or some other uh, or or some other initiative. Uh, so with um, that would be my motion. Would anyone care to second? You don't have to, but would anyone care to second that? So quick question. So that would apply to all projects? Yes. We're not just talking about this one particular project. We're talking about apply. all projects it on like apply. narrow streets. It's right. a set of like guidelines. That's correct. To see if there's anything that, that, that okay. any recommendation might be need to be made to the city council for you know amending uh, for amending an ordinance or um, or you know whatever. I don't know. Again, we cannot discuss the substance of the matter right now. Yeah, I would okay. suggest that this is a, a city council issue more than a planning commission issue. That, that, you, know, that you you might be right, but we, it, but very often what would happen is that the discussion would happen on the at the planning commission and then elevated to the city council. Yeah. Board. Okay. Fine. I get it. Right. Perfect. Okay. So, would anyone care to second this? Uh, sure. Are I you, guess I right, I'll second it then. Okay, and you know you don't have to agree to it. Uh, well, we can discuss it, right? And we can discuss what should happen have, next. We cannot, yeah. we cannot discuss the substance, though. Not today, but when, when when we put it on the agenda, that's when we discuss it. That's correct. Right. OK, so we do have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 OK, all opposed? For the record, I have to show that. I'm going to abstain. I'm not going to be on the commission. I'm not going to vote for something for a commission to review if I'm not going to be on the commission. I'm just going to abstain. OK, uh, so with that, we have three eyes and one abstention. Uh, abstention. Um, and the, the, motion, um, the motion passes. Um, so uh, the staff will, uh, will design, will design um, an agenda item for us uh, for you all um, uh, for, for a future meeting and, um, and set a date for doing that. Okay. If, um, just for the um, person's edification, it will not be the following meeting because we have two very large items on that agenda now that we've continued 24 Laurel. So, okay. and potentially a third one. So we'll look in September for that possible discussion. Okay. All right. Thank you. And um, I think Ms. Weller has left the meetings, but, but our thanks to her nonetheless. Um, okay. We do not have this evening a, um, a public hearing item. 
uh, since it has been continued uh, on the consent calendar. Uh, we do have, however, um, a couple of business items. Uh, one is the election of officers, which would be a chair and a vice chair, uh, and that will become effective tomorrow. Um, so would um, anyone like to nominate Ms. Chalmers as the next chair? I see. So um, Ms. Chalmers has now been nominated by Commissioner Swisher. And uh, could we have a vote to elect uh, Natasha Chalmers as the next chair of the Planning Commission? Uh, so all in favor of said election, please say aye. Do, do I, I vote or do I not vote? Up to you. You can vote for yourself. It's okay. It's okay. Why if you're too shy, you'll do a pass anyway. Uh, I. No, I, I can. I, Oh okay. So, She's willing to take it on. So that's Jeff, it. yeah, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I. so so Natasha, did you abstain or did you vote aye? No, I'll vote. Why not make it unanimous? Okay. All right, so it's unanimous. <laughs> uh, four eyes and uh, uh, none opposed. Uh, for vice chair, I think we have uh, I will nominate candidate. Commissioner Swisher as vice chair. Okay, uh, Commissioner Jeffrey Swisher has been nominated vice chair. Uh, all in favor of this nomination, please say aye. 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 Okay, we have four in favor and I'm going to assume that there are no nays. Um, so Jeffrey Swisher, effective tomorrow, will be our uh, vice chair of the Electoral Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations, thank you very much. Um, second business item, approval of the minutes from July 26, 2022. Uh, could I have a motion on that? I can make a motion to approve the minutes of, um, you took the, you took the date off, July 26, 2022. Okay. I'll second. Okay. I, okay, here we've got um, an issue. I have to abstain. Well, all in favor first. Aye. 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 So you got three votes. Oh, you got three votes, and I will abstain. Um, I was uh, I was absent. Uh, so we have three ayes and one abstain. I was absent too. Actually, I was absent too, but I, you know, I don't, you're, you're still you're still allowed to vote. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Um, okay. Uh, finally, are there any planning commission reports? No, but is this your last meeting, Daniel and Laura? It yes. is the last meeting. Should we formally say thank you? Would <laughs> this be the appropriate Formally, time? Informally, you can say thank you. You can, you know. So Jeff and, and I and, and Brock, Brock in his absence to say thank you for in, all the, in the old days, we used, we used to go to Perry's and have a dinner. I don't know if we still do that anymore, but. Well, I think we should definitely have a commissioner's dinner. I'll talk to Elise about it. Okay, and, um, I think there'll be one other honoree at that dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and probably the primary one. Uh, Invite Todd, because he never had a dinner either. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen him in his dog's age. <coughs> so anyway, I, I, I just for just so you all know, I am going to continue on the housing element until the end of the year, until that report is completed. Uh, but otherwise, it's sayonara. Um, so finally, uh, can we get a motion to adjourn? I can make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All right, your last act. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'm again going to assume that there are none opposed. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being on the commission with you guys. Uh, and it's uh, been a great joy to have you and uh, and you know I think you and Natasha have been two, you know you know fabulous additions um, and you know the commissioner is better off for having you. It's, it's hard to believe it's been eight years. I'll just say that. Yeah, wow. it is. It is, it is wow. I'm going to miss both of you. You've both <coughs> been a great source of reasonable commentary and. Yep. yep. Awesome.
Yeah, yes, and, 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 you know, a continuous source of amusement, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, asked today if I was interested in the water board. I was like, hmm, interesting timing. Yeah. So, <laughs> that, that would be a, maybe a, where I go next. Wow. Yeah, that would be a good one to be on for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the sanitary sewer district, because then you could like help shape the future of that property. That's true. Yeah. There's I actually have a lot of personal interest in all the water stuff. So yeah. we'll see. There's also, you know, there's actually a mosquito abatement board. Oh, yeah. It's important. Yeah. Back so, to control. Since I just got eaten alive in, in Colombia, because that's so <laughs> today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, take care, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a good evening, everybody. Again, thanks again. And and um, yeah, Laura and I, we're not going anywhere. You're going to run into us whether you want to or not. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. I hope so. Thank you again. Okay, right. take care. Thank you, everyone. Natasha will be talking. Bye. Okay, I'll wait. I'll hear from you. Thanks, Kristen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.